today we're going to have a look at an asset management tool that's uh, open really to work on any DCS or PLC network as long as it is an open network and what you can see here is my existing installation that has some instruments on so I, I just I'll just go through this is a Coriolis flow meter sat on Profibus DP um, and uh, the uh, PA or to DP converter here the 157-0 then I have some ET200 SP IO uh, that has heart functionality so there's some intelligent instruments connected to that and then I have the compact field unit with three Profibus PA devices connected and then I have my PLC and on here there's two Profinet ports and then there's a third one which um, uh, is nicknamed the not Profinet now this is important because um, PDM maintenance station is going to sit on the same network so you can see here this is this is a PC that's got just WinCC runtime professional a low-cost uh, IPC industrial PC um, but sat on the same network I haven't got a picture of it because as far as TIA port was concerned it's transparent sat on this Profinet network is the uh, PDM maintenance station box and it has to sit on the Profinet network now if you haven't got Profinet on your site don't panic because what you can do is you can buy something called an IEPB link that will connect one side to your DP network and then the other side has a industrial Ethernet inverted commas Profinet connection that will go to your um, PDM maintenance station box so as long as we can get either to green or purple on your network green is easier um, we don't need any additional hardware if it's if you go to the purple Profibus DP then um, some additional hardware may be required and if you've got Siemens IO on there we know that that works um, there is other IO in the PDM catalog for maintenance stations such as Stahl IO um, but if it's Profibus DP or PA it's really easy it's just we got if it's a card with heart pass through we've just got to make sure that that is the in the PDM library so there's the network my PC is sat here you can see a photograph of it on the screen um, it's the PC on the left the, the middle um, connection is going off to my Profinet network and the connection on the left hand side the green Profinet cable is my connection to the outside world which I've got going through a firewall and that's connected to my um, app which in this case is smart asset monitoring so this is my WinCC uh, runtime and the reason I, I'm showing this you'll see the data here you can see the flow meter um, values uh, flipping around um, and that data is what we class as cyclic data so the PLC is communicating to the instrument with the aid of having a GSD um, uh, programmed into the, the PLC so it knows where the data is on the device PDM maintenance station will not affect the flow of this data because it communicates acyclically okay, so that's the first tick in the box we're not um, going to affect the main flow of data into our control system when you've got maintenance station loaded up I have done videos showing you how to add instruments to maintenance station in the past this particular version is version 2 um, uh, there is a version 3 available now so this is um, June 2020 and hopefully coming out um, the beginning of next year will be version 4 so uh, the functionality is pretty much the same across all versions so what you have it's based on PCS 7 the important thing is it's not PCS 7 so I know it says it there but it's not PCS 7 um, what you have is your alarm banner at the top so if we have a look at that to start off with we'll expand that and you can set priorities on your alarms uh, and I can see here C stands for coming, C and G stands for coming and going, so these areas have come and gone. 
if I click on the error here and click on this um, loop button it will take me straight to where that error is and I can see there there's my pro value it's, got, it's gone yellow and what um, maintenance station does is it constantly scans the diagnostics of the instruments it gets the digital diagnostic code from the instrument and sat in the background is the is the PDM library process device manager with all of the instrument EDDs on so over 200 manufacturers 4500 devices so it's open um, and it will look for your device and it will translate that error code into if we go to diagnostics into plain English so with a Siemens device you get cause and effect and you can see here in some cases how to, to fix that so um, if I fix that that will go green automatically by itself but other things I can look at I will look at my alarms so these alarms here are not the detailed alarm messages these are just telling you that maintenance is required um, in the alarm banner and then you access maintenance station you can add your own notes and active that activate that note so you can search on notes if you've got changes in shifts we've already clicked on this for diagnostics so we'll come back to this one here and if you go on to the, the last page here we have parameters so we get a parameter list this is the last time it read the instrument and so these are the instrument parameters stored centrally on the PC okay so you have that and then if I go back this section here is if I want to um, generate uh, you know a schedule a calibration schedule a cleaning schedule whatever you want to call it so you can see on my alarm now that I've got a calibration um, open and in here I can action it so I can tell, tell um, my, the, the maintenance staff that that is now in maintenance and then when I've finished when I've done the in maintenance the complete icon will come up and you can uh, click on that but you can do a search on your maintenance schedule so these symbols here and the more approved symbols so green is healthy um, and the the yellow green and red spanners are tying with the severity of the alarm so this is what you want to see is what you want to see green everywhere so if I go back to my main view I've only got about five or six instruments on here the little M is indicating that um, a maintenance timer has been reached well I've just set it and I didn't set the time and date so it used the current so that's where that's come from and then you've got your um, system faults and instrument faults so it, it also looks at some of the I.O. cards if I come down and have a look at my network you'll see every, everything's on Profinet so I can see here there's, a, there's an issue with my ET200SP card and underneath there you can see that um, this LU240 which is another ultrasonic device is in alarm and I can see the text message there um, so this is a, a more approved sensor so it will um, uh, trigger a, a more critical event you can get it to do that within the settings when it reaches certain set points so many times so that's how the the individual instruments work but we're back at the 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 main uh, home page for maintenance station um, some of the things to, to highlight if you have intelligent switches um, so your scalance switches maybe they're wireless could be wireless access points that Siemens do um, then the diagnostics for those can come through on this level and if you're using Siemens industrial PCs and that includes the rack and the low-cost uh, box mount PCs um, then the diagnostics from those can come back in to here over here we have more more functions so I can do a complete export so that will export all of my 
currently uploaded parameters into um, an XML report uh, into a nice file structure that I can keep somewhere safe. Then I can do this device status filter. So this is quite nice. So you come in, as you can see, I've only got about five or six instruments here. I, I want to know um, which ones are unhealthy and which ones have got maintenance jobs. So the maintenance time has expired. And when I select that, it will generate a little bit of a report for me, showing me what is uh, required to be worked on for, for that day. And you can save that. And if you've got a printer set up, you can you can also send it to a, to a printer. OK, so once we've got that, then we have these two functions here. So um, message correction, that's just um, any faults that have appeared and disappeared. It's, it's just getting rid of those. Um, and then right at the end here, we have this parameter exports. Now this, this is quite a nice feature. So you, 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 you may have um, an intermittent fault or you may have a fault with 10 instruments on your plants at that precise moment in time and rather than uploading one at a time you want to get the parameters from all of your faulty instruments and um, the uh, current status and put that into into a report so if I click on here that I want to go online for any of my devices I'm on the manual uh, scan at the moment if I click on this, this will go away and it will find how many instruments are faulty. So it's found one and it's exported um, the parameters for that. And if I click on this little button here, it will tell you that um, it's managed to, to do that export. So that's a manual um, check. If I now go to my automated one and I can set four, three of these up, not four. Um, so you you decide how, how often you want it to do. So we're, we're going to click on line parameters and then we're going to say every hour. OK. Um, select any instrument that has a maintenance alarm. Um, you can see when the next one is going to, to start. So the current time is is two o'clock. So you can you can change your your start date to, to whatever you want. So if we refresh that, you'll get a little yellow uh, button there. My next read is going to be done at two o'clock, and then it will be done on the hour every hour, checking the status of that and generating a report. Version three of maintenance station and above has um, some slightly different uh, functionality for, for this export um, parameter. So what you can actually do is if when you start going through and having a look at your individual parameters, so let's just find a device. So here's a compact field unit. So this is quite nice. This shows you an error that's been there and disappeared. So I should be able to acknowledge that one. I can see here um, two instruments that uh, have got this green exclamation mark and what that means is the parameter has changed on the device and it no longer matches the parameter set stored in this uh, project and I'll show you what you can do with that but firstly let's have a look at how we set this up to export parameters and I want to just read all of the parameters and the diagnostic status regardless uh, of what is wrong um, with the instrument so it could be a perfectly healthy instrument but I want to try and get early warning of, of, of issues so what you can do here is um, you can set your cyclic update to every 10 minutes and then when you select this select for for exports um, when you set it up you'll you with groups you'll see on here group one two or three okay um, because we haven't got that everything's being done via group one so that's done and then if I go back to here 
you'll see the option and I've already got one set up to do um, every hour to, to read everything that's ticked for exports in group one regardless of the status look I've got nothing else ticked and that will then send those parameters to a storage location on your PDM maintenance station and then you have some software that sends those XML reports off to the uh, Citran Sam IQ app which then visualizes and trends all of that data so we're using it as a, 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 a maintenance asset tool but because we can get it to record any data from the instrument including parameters changing parameters changing the tags we can send that off to the cloud and we can log diagnostic data over time and we can see if we're getting any deterioration so one of the nice features with this PDA maintenance station is that you can get access to the configuration files so you can configure the instruments um, so for instance if, if an instrument fails you can replace it with a like-for-like -like instrument and then download the parameters so you're, you're up and running really quick so let's just go to um, one of these these instruments that's sat in this case on a, on a Profibus PA network so here's my network with my instruments on um, if I want to go in and configure one of these instruments then I can achieve that by clicking on the instrument and then you'll see this icon here called somatic PDM and it opens up PDM within a web browser so you're not actually opening it up on an engineering station so theoretically this project can be web enabled and you can still get access all the way down to your instrument parameters via your web enabled version the login on this ties in with somatic login um, in the old days with PDM you had two login service or technician now it all ties into the same uh, login management tool which can actually use your Windows login passwords to give you certain access to to PDM and PCS7 so here's my parameter set I can go into here I can do an upload and a download but I can also do this value comparison so wh when I get that green exclamation mark I can open this up do a comparison and it will tell me which parameters are different so here we have PDM it's open I'm not going to go through all of the setup uh, what you can see is it's online and you know I could go to things like a, what we call diagnostic cockpits which just show you the status of the device the maintenance station is doing that anyway there's a lot more on the PDM um, uh, but uh, you can see here that it's got a current set point of uh, zero okay so um, and my temperature because I had an internal temperature sensor is 28 so there you go PDM is sat in the background doing all of the diagnostic um, calculations but it's also there so you can still use it as a configuration tool and of course when I click save that's all saved within my project so there you have it the uh, PDM maintenance station as I said it doesn't really matter what the PLC is because maintenance station is not looking at the PLC it's looking at the open protocol networks underneath so Profinet or Profibus um, and once you're onto those two uh, physical protocols then we can start bringing back the diagnostics from the smart instruments installed on those networks so thanks for listening hope you found it useful don't forget to click on that like button and um, remember sharing is caring please pass this on to, to all your other colleagues and friends cheers